there and you say to yourself right let's hopefully somebody has bought some clothes and there you go you get that money that obviously that customer paid for given to you all right what that is so good wow we have nothing like that in the uk or ireland i know that for a fact what's up guys it's Dwayne back again for another video back in for the reaction today's a great wonderful amazing incredible day because it's a Finland day. Why are second hand shops so popular in Finland? Without further ado, let's get into this reaction. Let's go. Before I move to Finland, that in 2023, Aaron, you are going to attend or if you would have told me back in 2019, before I moved to Finland, that in 2023, Aaron, you are going to attend or go to a thrift shop here in Finland once a week or a thrift shop he said thrift but that's his accent you know a secondhand store okay you're going to go to a thrift shop and you're going to be looking through all these clothes and you are going to love it I would have actually laughed at you okay I would have said there's not a chance in a million years will I ever ever love going to a secondhand store I totally get that as well because he's from Ireland, which is very similar to the United Kingdom, to be honest. Um, second hand stores or thrift shops, as they say in America, they're not um, popular in England. Only a certain type of person really goes there in England. And that sounds bad to say, but it tends to be more people that are a bit more hippie, maybe vegan, maybe very like just just conscious about the environment and recycling and all that type of stuff um those are the types of people that tend to shop in charity shops uh, quite alternative people whereas most people shop in retail like on the high streets but it's interesting that in finland it's popular just in general to shop for second-hand items that's very interesting um I'm not mad at it though. It's pretty good, and I like this. I think this is this looks like something you probably picked up at a, a charity shop, and I quite like it. So that's just something that I will never do. But fast forward right now, and yeah, I do that once a week. I go to the local trip shop and have a look, and it's it has unlocked something that I never thought I would have liked. Going through items, going through secondhand clothes, it's crazy. Because I was a bit of a snob back then, you know, when it came to clothes, it had to be new. If it's not new, I didn't want to know about it. Which is an awful yeah. way to think about things, actually, the more I think about it. But now that I'm living in Finland, thrift shops and secondhand stores, there's something about them. Now, by the way, if you didn't know this, there's loads of them here in Finland. Loads. Finnish people love thrift shops. I was wow. amazed when I first... Why? I need them to explain. Why do you guys love it so much? I need to know. Step foot in my very first one, which was back in 2019. I remember my wife said to me, hey, do you want to go to the trip shop today? And I go, yeah, let's have a look. Let's go in. And I was expecting a boutique. You know, I was expecting one of these secondhand <laughs> stores that are kind of small in a city on a kind of high street kind of one where it's just like just small. Yeah, basically, because that's what they're like in the UK. It's like little small little shops that have like, you know, a few clothing items, a few like trinkets and house stuff, very miscellaneous stuff. Um, that's what it's like in the UK and Ireland. So I know basically because in fairness, that's the way they're kind of like in Ireland. There's not many of them. There is charity shops. Charity shops but again, yeah. a lot of people kind of are a little bit snobby when it comes to them sort of charity shops, which is terrible because you shouldn't really be, bad. you know what I mean? But anyway, um, first time in a char in a secondhand store here in Finland, I was amazed because some of them are like the size of supermarkets, if not bigger. What? All right. Now, last summer, me and my wife done a clear out of clothes, right? Because we had clothes left over from um, our children and also our ourselves because we just didn't want stuff anymore you know let's just give it to the trip shop so how it works is and i do forget the price so forgive me on that um you rent a table for a week and on this table you can put whatever you want clothes items 
whatever. And then also there's like a what? railing. So wait, he's saying rent a table. So this is more like a car boot sale. Uh, so these thrift shops, uh, are these massive big places where people sell secondhand, is it just the general public going there and renting a table and selling their items? I need more information. I don't know where he's going. That you can hang things up. And then the people in the shop, they give you the price tags. You tag everything yourself. You write down whatever price you want on that clothing. And then you leave it there for a week. And then you come back a week later and you say to yourself, right, let's hopefully somebody has bought some clothes. And there you go. You get that money that obviously that customer paid for given to you. All right. What? That is so good. Wow. We have nothing like that in the UK or Ireland. I know that for a fact. Nothing like that. That's awesome. Because if we want to do stuff like sell our items, like secondhand clothing or secondhand furniture or whatever, we have to do it on eBay. There's no such thing as like a thrift store or thrift shop or secondhand store where you can just, you know, tag your items, put a price on it and just wait until someone purchases it and then gets... This system is pretty awesome. I've never heard of anything like this. Wow. All right. Actually, I, yeah, I really do. I forget the price of the table, how much it is to rent. Maybe somebody in the comments can let me know, roughly. Let me know, I don't know. But, um, I've never heard of it. It was fantastic. Before. It really was. The way it worked was just crazy. But like I said at the start of this video, I never thought that I would actually love thrift shops. I never thought it. And some of my like favorite pieces of clothing, like this, this was two euro. I found I this in, in a thrift shop for two euro. <laughs> Two like euros, two euros. That's a nice knitted, I love knitted clothing. I'm a, I just love knitting, knitted clothing. I'm from a cold-ish part of England and like, I love knitwear and I really like that. And he got the two euros. The thing is, the reason why I don't go to, cause I would, I'm not a snob, I would go to, I would go to a secondhand store. Just our secondhand stores are not very good in England. When we're not encouraged to recycle, uh, not recycle, sorry, we're not encouraged to give to charity or give to secondhand stores. We don't have a system like that. So when you go to them, there's nothing there that I would want, you know? That's the reason why um, I don't go to them. But your secondhand stores, and they're expensive in England. Oh my God. If you go to a charity shop and you go in there and you look at the prices, you're like, this is not cheap. This is like how much it would cost if I went to an actual store and bought it for brand new. But two euros for this, I'm impressed. My favorite thing, it's so comfy and I love it. But why do Finns love trip shops and why is there so many? I asked a couple of Finnish friends and also my Finnish wife, why trip shops are so popular here. And one thing that they all said was that Finnish people are very frugal, okay? Right. They love a discounted price, you know what I mean? Compared to a new piece of clothing or item, if you can get something the same for less, they're more than likely gonna choose that option rather than the new option. Is that true, you're very frugal people? Didn't know that about Finns. So you like to save money. You like a discounted price. Got it got it which in fairness i wouldn't even say that's a finished thing okay maybe it is <laughs> done by fins a lot but like are you even human if you prefer to buy something new over then to get money knocked off it? come on let's be honest one other thing that they all agreed on was the fact that it's good for the environment mm. it reduces waste it's a sustainable thing it if there's use for it then somebody will take it Agreed. Absolutely agreed. Like I just said before, it seems like it is. You guys are more concerned with the environment, where in, isn't, whereas in the UK, for some reason, we're not as concerned about the environment. We're not concerned about waste. Waste is a huge problem in the UK. We waste a lot. When it comes to food, when it comes to uh, clothing and items, when it comes to glass bottles. It depends what area you live in the UK. Some areas are better than others, but I know of a lot of areas in the UK where recycling is not even... 
it's not even a thing. It's not even encouraged. It's just like, yeah, let's throw it in that bin, whatever. Um, we need to be better. We need to look to you guys. We need to look to Scandinavia as a whole because you guys are very good at recycling, repurposing, and, you know, reusing items, whereas we're not. Um, yeah. And I'm all about a frugal lifestyle as well. I like to live below my means. So I would really enjoy your uh, second-hand stores. Simple as that. And that was a quote that was kind of like said by all of them, really. You know, that quote where it's like, one man's waste is another man's treasure. You can pretty much put that on to finish people here when it comes to thrift shops. Somebody will take it. For example, I remember one time in my local thrift shop looking around and I had to look three times at this thing. I was like, there's a bucket of gravel for two euro. Now the gravel was filled up to the brim and the bucket was like, I think that size. And I was just like, for one second, I did think to myself, that's really odd. But then the other, <laughs> something just came upon me and was like, somebody will find use for that. Like, yeah, obviously, for it's sure. a bucket of gravel. Obviously. The other thing as well is that thrift shops offer kind of a unique experience, a unique way of shopping. That's It's the reason why I love it is because I can kind of, well, how would you say this? It's like you can build your own style, if that makes sense. You know, for example, this, I love this, right? I'll wear this all year round, <laughs> pretty much. It's so cozy, I just love it. Um, but one thing, and I think this- Before it continues, I love how I said I can wear this all year round. Basically, <laughs> Finland, you're a cold country. If you can wear this knitted um, jumper all year round, that just shows how cold your country is. <laughs> He's like, I'm going to wear it during the summer as well. This would make a good subject for a video. I think Finnish people are actually quite trendy. Hmm. Especially like, you could say, teenagers right up until about middle-aged. Some people do go around here and it's like, they're dressed in their own unique way. You know what I mean? And I think the thrift shop, the secondhand store plays a big part in that, you know? Okay. Again, I'm gonna take you back to an experience as well. And I should have got this. I don't know why I didn't. For 15 euro, I remember seeing this, uh, this ski jacket, right? But it was one from the eighties. It was multicolored, it was purple, green. Oh, I don't know why I didn't get it. I don't know why I didn't get it. I should have just, I should have got it. I'm still, I'm still really pissed off with, with myself that I didn't get it. Cause it was like one of those big puffy ones and it was just so cool. The colors on it, it was just class. It really was. So that's one thing that I think, Finnish people can be trendy, you know? Okay, so he saw a coloured jacket and he's still... Yeah, I get that. If you shop at, like... If you're shopping at a, a thrift store, second-hand store, and there's not, like, a cohesive style... You know when you go to, like, a big retail place, a big retail store, they have multiple items of the same clothing. So it's like, you go and pick up an item and another person will pick up that same item in a different size. And you could be wearing the same top as that other person's wearing. So it's not really individual styles, but if you go to a thrift store, a second-hand store, a charity store, you have fashion from years for different decades <laughs> in the same place. So you could pick up, like he said, there's a jacket from what, the 70s, 80s or whatever, 80s. And he picked it up and he's like, wow, this is, look at the colours. There'll be nothing like that. No one will be walking around wearing that item because it's so unique. I like that. I am that sort of person that would wear something that no one else is wearing because I don't like to be following the crowd. So I get it. I get what he means by Finns have unique styles because you have an individual, you wear what you want individually. I get it. No, That's what it can be saying. very fashionable. And I think the secondhand store, thrift shops play a big big part of that there is something else about these big thrift shops these big secondhand stores that i noticed 
something very, very wholesome. What's that? Right? Wholesome? Is that in most of these big ones, you get, you can buy coffee and a bun or some sort of like chocolate bar. And there's lots of people who just chill out in them. You know, there's a little section beside the counter maybe where you pay for your stuff. You can get a bit of coffee and then there's like a couple of seats over there. And nearly every time, they're always full of people. Always full of people just chatting away. Yes, some of them, or most of them, are older. older. But there's this kind of social aspect to it, uh, to it as well, ah. you know? Ah, that's really interesting. They just, you guys just chill out in a secondhand store. There's a little cafe where you can have a little cake and a coffee. I mean, why not? Why not? I really want to visit one now. And I think that's really, really nice. You know, maybe you'll see two older women walking around together, having a chat while they're like going through these items, these clothes. So that was a very kind of wholesome thing that I seen myself. And just to wrap this up, guys, I really do think that thrift shops and secondhand stores are a massive part of Finnish culture. They have to be, because there's so, so many of them. The atmosphere in them, what they offer is very, very unique. You know what I mean? Now, if you think I'm wrong and if you think, no, they're not part of Finnish culture at all, let me know in the comments, please do, because I do, I would like to know why. But I do think they are. I really think they are. Um, also, if you're visiting Finland, or if you live in Finland and you've never been to one, you need to go to one. <laughs> you really, really do. I just said that. And even if you were a I bit will. of a snob like me, or if you are a bit of a snob like I was back in 2019, try get rid of that and go and experience it. Because, like I said, it's really unique. And you never know what you might find. That's the, that, that's the main thing for me. You never know what you might find. Hmm... Yeah, I would definitely visit one. I would definitely f visit one. Why not? If you find, like, you could... In those types of stores, it's just like going to a car boot sale. I don't know if you have car boot sales in Finland. But if you go to, like, a car boot sale, you could find some literally bargains, like some treasure. Like he said, one man's ways is another man's treasure. You can find that in these stores. So I definitely, it makes me want to go to one now. I'm like, I want to go to a car boot sale and see if I can find something that I might need. <laughs> There's nothing that I need, I don't think. I'm not like flashy or anything. So yeah, but I will definitely, definitely check out one of these when I'm there. You know, sure. I, I found this and I took it. I, like I was that. like, I love that. I, I, I have like to have that. it. That's fantastic. Two euro. Yes. Bargain. Absolute bargain. You know, <laughs> give me it right now. And actually, there's another funny thing as well. If I walk out of a trip shop and I haven't found anything, if I haven't bought anything, I'm actually a bit disappointed. I'm like, oh, that's a bit <laughs> sad, you know? Also, actually, I want to know what is the funniest thing you've ever found at a trip shop? Because there's some things, like I said, about the bucket of gravel, you know, I thought that was hilarious. Now, obviously, somebody will find use for that. There's absolutely... You, you can guarantee somebody sure. bought that, right? There's other funny things that you might find in thrift, in thrift shops, you know? But um, let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments if you've found anything funny. But what is also something that, like... You really loved that you found. That you couldn't believe you found. You are like, oh my god, yes. Let me know in the comments, guys. Thank you. Yeah, let me know as well. Because I... You get a, a bucket of gravel. Imagine you're doing your driveway. Is that what you use gravel for? I think so. You're doing your driveway. You run out of gravel. Your wife says to you, let's go to the thrift shop just because I want to go there and get a new, um, I don't know, new hat. You go there. You're walking through the thrift store. You know, da -da 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 -da. there's a bucket of gravel. What? And it's two euros. I needed some of that pick it up and there you go there's always someone that needs something that you don't <laughs> it's true someone will purchase anything like anything anything so i get it 
I'm going to visit a secondhand store in Finland because they sound awesome. I'm awesome. And I'm going to go get a cake and a cookie and a coffee. Maybe all three when I'm there. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Until the next one, I'll see you very soon.